people love playing with me, but hate it. When I play back, what goes around comes around. minute to spare because it's so much I just want to get right into it. Hi everybody, how are you this evening? Uh welcome, welcome, Sherelle's Riders. Welcome. Okay, all right. And Paris people. <laughs> what? So listen, they're saying there's no sound in the track and um, in the chat. Can you guys hear me? Hello. I could hear you, Perry. Can you guys hear us? Uh, put a one in the chat if you can hear us. Oh my God! Can you guys hear us? Oh, they oh, can hear yeah. us. You said yeah. Okay. Right. Oh my God! So. Me and Perry were supposed to go on at our regular time and really had some things come up where we couldn't go on at that time. So then I thought, well, let's just do the video tomorrow. Mm, tonight, it's got to go down, okay? So we are tired and uh, looking ragged, but we're, we're, we got to get this done. We got to talk about Meek Mill being named in the lawsuit and Usher. We got to talk about Columbo's uh, short coming out about his encounter with Diddy. Okay, it's, when it rains, it pours. People, when it rains, it pours. And then we're gonna talk about the two. <laughs> Let's ride. <laughs> Listen, Perry absolutely hates the name Sherelle's Riders. He's like, that's dumb. And so he said uh, he has his own subscribers. They're called Perry's people, and yeah. they're supposed to be smarter than my people. I, I don't well, know. No. I'm not going to say that because I'm not going to come at your people. I'm not going to come at the riders like that. I'm just saying <laughs> that we have another way of thinking. Oh, wow. There's people that have their own way of thinking. It's so ridiculous. And, you know, oftentimes <laughs> I was come with no facts. We just talking or giving just, our true opinions. Go ahead. Well, good. I'm glad that you uh, will recognize that something might be wrong with the Perry's people. All right. No, no, ain't nothing wrong with them. <laughs> so listen, so we got to jump on here and talk about all this craziness because it's, it's really getting weird. Okay, but before I wanted to do that, I wanted to shout out Storm Monroe for reaching 300,000. That is a big accomplishment. We are proud of you. You need to have a party, Storm, because that is a real big accomplishment. 300,000. Yeah. Also, yeah. too, I want <laughs> what? Oh. That's a lot. Uh, I'm that's just saying, look, the man lot. was on his ground. That's good. Congrats, Storm. And also, I want to congratulate you on the interview that you did with uh, Armand Wiggins. Like, I don't really go to your channel every day, but Perry does. He I absolutely do. loves yeah. you. And so he was telling me, you have to go watch this interview that Storm did with Armand. And it was really good. And the reason I liked it the best is because, you know, as, as a blogger, you go through things, but you feel like you're alone. And everything Armand said, I felt like he was talking about my life. So it was just good to know in my head that that's just a part of this crazy business that can get tiring, overwhelming, but then at the same time, be very rewarding. So um, thanks for doing that interview. It was very good. And you guys should go check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, the Ghetto Cooking Show says, if I say I'm a people writer, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Not people writer. What did you say, Perry? Reaper. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that means you like got a split personality. <laughs> you know. Perry, like, no, you know, say that. Is, is get that kind heart and. Then she's going to come up with a thousand excuses why the person <laughs> wasn't wrong. So, you know, but oh. Perry's people, 
We just come right out and say it, you know. And I'm a thief, people, because I'm about ready to say this, but I stole it. Okay. Okay. Ain't nothing like a Perry's people party because a Perry people's party don't stop. You did and not you know, steal that. Nobody says that, Perry. No, you did not steal so it. Theirs was different, but I just had to get the gist of it. Yeah. Child, it says she says, does that make me sound like a hoe? I don't know. You have to talk to your leader, <laughs> Perry, and you y'all his people. Uh, hey, opinion. Hi, how you doing, girl? Haven't seen you in a while. All right. So uh, let's get into it. So, okay, let me start with the. I got to start with the picture first. This is messy. This is messy, messy, messy. So we know that uh, Mims, uh, what's his name? Uh, Meek Mill got into it with DJ Academics on social media because he was upset because DJ Academics read the court papers and it does mention, you know, I don't know if it's true or not, but that Diddy had a relationship with Meek Mill and uh, Usher. And so Meek, First, it was DJ Academic and um, Carisha, a young Miami. She was like cussing out uh, Puffy's other baby mama, Gina. You guys remember the one that went on Tasha K and said that he put hands on her. And they were going, she was like dragging uh, Gina saying like, you know, you've been down there and and you're mad because I'm his and, sh and and then they were riding hard like like is this a good time to say that you know to ride for puffy I mean Diddy whatever the hell it is like girl what y'all doing so uh DJ F academics kept jumping in and he was like stop stop this is not the place and and you are nothing but a, a Elon Maxwell, and you know you are. And then he started calling her Carisha Maxwell, and he said, Puffy wouldn't be in this position that he's in right now if you wouldn't have opened your damn mouth. And they were, like, using vulgar language. Uh -huh. Just trust me, I'm not going to run over there to post it up. If you want to see it, go to DJ Academics' uh, Twitter page. And this was going on for a while. And they were. she was dragging Gina and and – academics was trying to tell her to shut the hell up and yeah. this is why you know you're to blame for all of this like this is some personal stuff that they're not sharing with us how is carisha to blame what are they talking about i really thought that diddy was gonna jump in and say his piece too but he did not hi brandon Martin. was meek the top <laughs> y'all so messy <laughs> messy 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 so then as they're arguing carisha and DJ Academics, then Meek Mill jumps in it, okay, and he's mad. He was like, uh, you did me wrong, you know, uh, I should have brought up, you did me wrong, uh, all you bloggers do is sit around all day and make up lies, and DJ Academics was like, I read the court papers, what you mad at me for? You should be mad at the court papers, or P. Diddy, don't get mad at me, and he was like, yeah, but you ain't it. You know, they're cussing at each other. Yeah. You uh, in this and in that, and they were going back and forth. And people in the chats are joining in, and this is what they said: they are messy. They were okay. like, "Meek, why aren't you denying it? <laughs> like, like, why, yeah. why are you mad at D Day Academics? I would be on here saying he lied on me, or <laughs> this saying it right. He said you worried about what bloggers are talking about, trying to out the bloggers that was doing their jobs. They, they, they were really on him. And then pictures start surfacing. Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. Okay. They said that this is proof <laughs> this is my God. that the rumors are true. Y'all are wrong. Y'all are giving me a heart attack. Okay. I don't know. How is this proof? This is not proof. Okay. Y'all just messing with me because he is really, he, he's losing it. He's really losing it. And then he said that he was going to go and make a diss song about it. Why are you telling us? Shouldn't you be working on it? You know, they, they were riding, they were riding him. And then uh, Media Takeout posted this picture. This ain't right. It's, it's, it's not funny, but it is a little bit. Okay, they got all the perpetrators there. This is a mess. This is a hot a mess. Media takeout, y'all know y'all ain't right. Y'all know y'all ain't right. They got Meek in a pink suit. Mm. Is he at the freak fest? 
Right. Right. Usher there. Uh, opinion, y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. What a dragon of Meek for film. They got Usher here because Usher's uh, listed in the lawsuit of having relations with P. Diddy. Then they talk about some white guy that's having relations with Diddy. And, and then there's uh, his mini B. King, he calls himself King, King Combs. That's a Christian over there. And it's just not right. Y'all uh, are wrong for that. Y'all are wrong. I thought it was funny. You know, I, I'm kind of sick. I think these things are funny. Just how, I don't know. Some of the things they were saying was funny. And I'm not going to read the comments because, uh, you know, the person I'm working with uh, screenshot at the comments and they were just uh, dragging me. Meek, and not even giving it a possibility that it could be false okay but this is where it gets real serious and then it's not a laughing joking thing anymore okay so i finally read all of the 75 pages of the complaint okay and first of all my first thought was this why is it a warning trigger warning on here i have gotten copies of a lot of lawsuits I've been doing this a while now. I don't even know how to. Oh, geez. If I can't figure out how to make this bigger, oh, you know, I can't see. Anyway, um, they have a trigger warning on there. And I was like, why is there a trigger warning? And that's because for every complaint that Rodney had, he also had evidence to back it up. He had. Uh, videos and very graphic pictures he had pictures of the women that were supposed to be uh minors uh everything every like it, it really got real with me if you watch these if you look at these pictures for me there was absolutely no way he was lying now he might have waited till he didn't get paid but mm -hmm. mm -mm, you're not lying it's very detailed dates, times, all of it. And it was really real. So let's go to what everybody wants to talk about. Page 13. Yeah, it's a trip. Though. I mean, because at first I was like, I don't think he got a chance of really going through with this lawsuit just because of money. And then he can have trouble proving it. But I, I spoke too soon before I looked at the court documents. Yeah, the court documents made it real. Now, I cannot... Yeah read so uh work with me here because the the evidence is these last lines down here so in the for top part they're talking about he's had in a relationship with an r b singer a very famous r b single singer who will not be mentioned and that he also uh had a relationship with a very popular rapper okay but in the cliff notes it says he is a philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki minaj i would make it bigger if i knew how to make it bigger i don't and i'm scared if i make it too small let me see if i click this no that didn't work oh wait maybe it did this is this ain't working it says that i don't know how to zoom out what was it he was he was exposed for being the person. It says a very famous rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Now that's only one person. It's not Safari because he's not he doesn't have the rapper part down yet. I mean, okay? did they say that also wear a pink suit? Did they say that? You are messy. You are messy. No, I'm I'm just curious. I don't know. I got to figure out how to uh, zoom out. So, uh, and then it goes on and it says that the R and B singer performed at a super at the super bowl and he also had a vegas residency we've seen usher take women out the stand and serenade her time and time again and so it's obvious who they're talking about so like the people in the comments on twitter i'm wondering well why is meek arguing about this on social media and not saying that it it wasn't me I don't think pictures are, well, well, I mean, well, is that, is that evidence to you, uh, Perry? Yeah, well, no, not, not exactly really, but 
for somebody to put that in there claiming that it was you, uh-huh. that gives me pause. Like, sometimes you can look at a picture and you sometimes make what you want out of it. But why would the guy put his picture there? Unless he's, did, uh, unless, I mean, he has to be saying that he did some things, you know, on the bottom or on the top, something. Let me see if I can figure this out. <laughs> You're messy. You are messy. Okay. Um, I don't know, but he seems very bothered about it. And so everybody is going to, you know, how people social media is, they're going to ride him and drag him and everything. But that was the least of my worries reading this document. Okay. What I wanted to talk about when they were at the studio where Puffy was having a uh, listening party at a a place called the Shelleys. And what they explained that happened that day with the pow pow. Okay. He said that Je- uh, Justin was with his friend. They are calling him Mr. G for now. They go in the bathroom. They hear arguing. It's three people in the bathroom. It's Puffy, Justin, and uh, Mr. G. And they hear uh, pow, 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 pow. Mm -hmm. Everyone turns around. Minutes later, the door swings open. He actually showed a picture, okay? It happened in that bathroom. It it was uh, B-L-O-O-D everywhere, everywhere. They said that uh, Mr. G was grabbing his stomach. Puffy came out the bathroom and said, call the cops. But nobody better tell them that this happened inside my place. Mm -hmm. Say that it was a drive-by and he came in here and we were trying to help him. Then they went off with with Justin and they were hushing and talking quietly. And everybody was frightened, scared, shitless of what just happened. Now, that's real concerning to me. Because there have been rumors going around, not even rumors, the mm-hmm. rap, uh, what's his name? Not the rapper. He's not a rapper. The gangster, whatever, mm-hmm. the, the crip, Keefy mm-hmm. D has been saying since he's locked up that Puffy was responsible for Tupac's death. Damn. He said that Puffy hired them, Orlando Anderson, his cousin, no, his uh, nephew, and him, he said, Orlando was the one that actually pulled the trigger. He's been saying this. I don't under, when I first heard this, I really thought it was ridiculous. Then there was an officer that came out, the policeman on the case, and said, Puffy is responsible for the death of Tupac. But now that I'm hearing this, now that I read this complaint, my thoughts have varied. I'm thinking, yeah. Also, we hear about the rumors that he is responsible because Albie Shore has been saying it. A lot of people have been saying it has something to do with Ken Porter being unalive because she was going to uh, release a tell-all book. Now, it sounds crazy at first, but if you're capable of pow-powing somebody at a party Mm -hmm. with a crowd, also, it said, and I wish I could show you, I don't know how to zoom out. I don't know how, but trust me, it said in the complaint that he, how do I say it? Because I want to be, make sure I don't get, just because uh, that I say the right thing and don't trigger YouTube because this needs to be out there. When, look. I just don't have faith in Puffy anymore. I think he did it. I think he did it to Kim. I think he did it to Tupac. And the reason that he did it for Tupac is because he was jealous and it was competition. Mm-hmm. What do you think so far, Perry? I mean, I mean, pretty much like nobody got proof, obviously, or if they do, it's not being enforced. But we don't have proof that he did it. Mm-hmm. But it's not far-fetched. Me and Sherelle mm-hmm. talked about this today. She's like, do you think? Why not? I mean, because if you replace, you know, if you say, well, hey, do you think P. Diddy has something to do with these people, Biggie, Tupac, 
and others. Most people are like, oh, no, I don't think he would do that. But if I replace him with Suge Knight, he would be like, oh, yeah, he probably did it. Only because P. Diddy had private freak parties. It wasn't on the curve, crip walking. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or sagging or anything like that. But I truly think that, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. And it could have been a lot of reasons. And you notice every time Biggie come on and, and do his hit, here come the dancing freak, P. Diddy, out there trying to steal the limelight, right? I can't. I mean, see, cause people get jealous. And then when you get all this money, a lot of power, you know, it's like this, you feel powerful and, and think you can do anything. Mm -hmm. And I almost think people say, well, we'll be the reason Biggie was making no money. But I think when you sign an artist to a lot of money mm -hmm. and people can check into this, like I said, various people, you know, I just give my opinions. No fact. Hey, <laughs> just saying that it's possible that he could have had an insurance policy out. What? This, well, I'm saying it could be possible. And and I would think it might not be off the charts. Like, say, if you're going to invest this in somebody's career, mm -hmm. what if they go on tomorrow and you don't lost all this money? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's just how my mind works. He, uh, he's he very dangerous. Huh? Puffy is dangerous. He, uh, I, I wouldn't, he's a narcissist. And he's a freak, a control freak. And mm -hmm. I didn't realize that until you said it. And that's what these parties are all about. Because, like, how many times do you need a party to th them kind of parties? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you're putting, you're lacing the drink. Matter of fact, let me see if I still have this. Um, did you guys know in Atlanta, people are accusing them? Let me see if I can find this video. I probably don't even have it anymore. Of when you go to nightclubs, they will take, uh, open the bottle. Okay. And, Fill it with a cheaper brand, mix it together, put it back, and you think you're buying a bottle of Don, whatever they drink. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, uh, it's crazy. It's really possible to lace people's drinks and just the average person will not know. You, you will not know. The mm -hmm. whole thing is is quite frightening. And I remember we talked about this, I think it was yesterday when somebody came on, I was taking a phone call. It might've been Al who said this lawsuit is never going to see the light of day because it's just a bad, what's the word I'm looking for? It's just incriminating right um they're saying that puffy is falling into a, a deep depression he feels like he won't be able to get his career back on track no you're not going to get your career back on track it's just not <laughs> happening it's just sad let me uh go put this back up now this is really weird too because the lawsuit, and, and I can't even stroll through the lawsuit. I got to click on the pages because I never know what picture is going to come up. It's almost two lawsuits uh, combined in one because he really did sue a lot of the executives that worked for the main music companies. So here, this is a picture of Diddy. He's suing him. He's suing uh, Justin, who everybody's saying that Justin is a mini-me of Diddy. They're saying he's just as disturbed as Diddy, okay? They're saying all of his kids, except for Quincy and the girls, but like King, he calls himself King Combs, Christian is a spinoff of his father, but not as aggressive. It almost reminds me, uh, do you guys remember the dictator named Saddam Hussein? And he had two really dis mentally disturbed sons, Uday, Uday, and another one. And they were like out of their mind. This is how they're describing um, his two boys with uh, Justin being the leader. And Justin has come out and said he denies these allegations. Well, his PR firm came out and said it, and that's what you're supposed to say. But, you know, 
Mm-mm. I'm believing the rumors that you are really out of your mind. Uh, they're also here goes someone else that uh, he he's uh, works for Motown Records. Uh, yeah, they went after a lot of big shots. They went out of Puff after Puffy's main assistant. She has a title. I don't want to uh, disrespect her like this. Uh, her name is Ethiopia. I mean, they really went after. Here we are here. This is the person that owns the studio, the Shalice studio where the pow pow went down. Mm. It's just a mess. It is a mess. Let me see if I can. It's just a mess. It's it's absolutely. These are all the other per- people that he is suing. And I don't understand why he combined the lawsuit. Suing the executives for money is one thing. Mm-hmm. But accusing your cousin and P. Diddy of another is another thing. So I'm not really sure why he combined. Is it sort of like one of those RICO cases or something? Yeah, it's a RICO case. I mean, I think that's when they get the whole group that was involved one way or the other. But on two separate issues. Uh, I'm not sure. We're talking about the money. And then we're talking about the pow pow. And then the freak offs. It's really. Right. But then I think also he could be combining it in a sense that all these people was aware of these things. Mm-hmm. They condoned it. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, trying to say, like, mm-hmm. maybe the, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, he also says down here, I'll give you guys the page number on uh, page 121 that he worked for a long time, months before he would even get a check. He said that Puffy was supposed to give him. $50,000, but did not give him the whole thing. He only ended up giving him 29000 and that was, like, dispersed interactively. It wasn't consistently. Like, you get paid every Friday. Mm-hmm. He might go two, three months and give you ten, and he was scared to ask for the rest of it because... So, mm-hmm. he gave him 29000 Mm-hmm. And then told him if you want the other twenty one thousand, it was in his bedroom. You are messy. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. You are messy. Hey. Let me see if I can find this one. Uh, he goes into great detail the night that Carisha, his cousin, wanted to be with him. Like she kept chasing him around, cornered him in the bathroom, and he was like, "No, get out of here!" Took off her clothes. Um, she really wanted this to go down. He also said that Puffy offered him the white powder. And like we said before, w- there was another occasion where he woke up and he was in the bed with him. And you feel like what happened and why am I s- laying next to him? And it's just a really, really. What's the word I'm looking for, Perry? You read some of it. Uh Oh, there's wait, no way he's just going to get out of this. There's just no way. Right. I mean, like, the only way I think he's get out of, maybe get out of it is the guy run out of money. You know, because with these law cases, it takes a lot of money. You know, I figure maybe pity, I mean, Diddy would outspend them and force them out financially. But we'll see. I mean, maybe all those names, I guess somebody might fold. I, it, I don't know. It's a lot of people in there. It's very it's, detailed. Very. I might just put it. Um, maybe on my, it's 75 pages. Maybe I'll just start putting pieces on it of the very important stuff, maybe on Instagram. So you guys can read it because I'm very limited of what I could say, but it was very detailed and, um, chilling, very chilling and made me without a doubt realize that, uh, uh, Puffy did it. Okay. So. Also, it's a the lawsuit people are saying is in total 30 million, but mm-hmm. uh it reads 300 million on the document. Let me put this up really quick. I just don't understand what's going on. And do you think Perry he will be able to pay off all these people? Oh, did he? Mm-hmm. No, I mean, no. I I think if anything he'll settle for, you know, much smaller amount, but Diddy gonna keep spending money, cause while we we talking about this case, he'll be talking about another case next week. 
mm-hmm. that week after that. Mm-hmm. You know, and yeah. it's time for him to be exposed. Like this post I got behind me, like I got it 25 years too late. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's starting to hit the fan now. So I'm going to follow the case because at first I thought, I don't want to talk about P. Diddy every day. I'm over it. Okay, we know what happened. Cassie told me the whole story, but we don't know what happened. And now people are coming out telling their story. So Columbus Short came out today and just talked about how he feel that Puffy was trying to groom him. Now, I have a feeling there's going to be more stories about Mm -hmm their experience with Puffy. I think so. I mean, that's what happened when you have these freak fests and you inviting all these underage, all these people in, and then you, you constantly feeding them giddy juice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And I also think that, you know, there's a whole section about him my computer's stuck. Uh, him with being with underage, and, and, and then they have the pictures of the the girls. So it's just a lot. And I'm going to stop from here because I don't know what's going on because my screen is absolutely completely black. What about yours, Perry? No, mine good. Hmm. And you probably got 15 tabs open, though. <laughs> I just got one. Uh, well, I can't. My screen is yeah, black. Yeah, I know. I got you. Anyway, it's it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. So I wanted to play the clip of Columbo, Columbo Short. He came on and said that uh, one time he befriended Puffy and Puffy asked him to teach him some acting skills. And he said, OK. And then a couple of days later, he called him in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. and invited him to a party. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing and invited him to a party and he said, who else is at the party? And, and according to him, P. Diddy said, no one. And he said, nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> that's what he said. He said, so that's really weird. There. I don't know what happened. It's stuck. So anyway, let's play the clip. Let me see if I can play the Columbo clip one more time. And I think there's going to be more stories coming out. And it's just, I think that he is worse than. Uh, I mean, sounds I like the person, Art person, Kelly, person, huh? Person, yeah, Art Kelly, Bill Cosby. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, because shit, Bill Cosby had the Diddy Juice too, remember? Yeah. But you know, my wife looking at me like. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Who is that? Pick, yeah, pick that up. <laughs> oh, I know about this. So I, I put it on speaker. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I picked it up. I, I, I said, who is this? It's Sean. I'm like, Sean? It's Puff. I'm like, oh, what's good? You're talking low like that? talking low. So I was <laughs> So I was like, hey, what's good? I said, what's cracking? He said, ah, oh, we didn't see you. We didn't see you tonight at the BET Awards. We didn't see you tonight. He said, uh, You're checking uh, in. He said, what, 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 you, what you doing? I was like, oh, man, I'm at the crib. He said, oh, yeah, we over here at the, um, he said, I'm over here at the um, the Beverly Hills Hotel. I said, oh, for real? So who over there? Just me. Uh-uh. What? Come on, man. That man ain't said, you serious? He said, just me. So my wife, she, 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 I'm over here on the suspect list. What the hell? So I'm like, nah, man, I'm in bed, bro. I'm, I'm, a, I'm good. He's like, I, 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 and just hung up. But- there, that's so, yeah. I mean, wow. Said, all right, I just call Usher. Y'all are messy. Now let's talk about Usher. You know, these rumors have been out about Russ, uh, Usher for a while now. Remember uh, when I brought Nosy on? There was a video when they were talking, and there was a a toy on the bed. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys probably seen the clip. He never addresses it publicly. But you're listed in a lawsuit. I would have thought he would have denied it or came out and spoke on it, but he has not, Perry. You are messy. Oh my God. You are really ridiculous. Keep that cash coming because people are lining up to get it. So if he settles this case, more people are going to come forward. If 
you want to attempt, I'm not going to say it worked, at any kind of um, second career, I just think he, you have to take it to court. But I've read it. It's 75 pages. Don't take that to court. I would not go to court with that. It's a mess. It's a mess. What would you do, Perry? He can have a second career on uh, OnlyFans. He can do that. I mean, and, and he can okay. have a special. He can have a special guest every night. It seems like there's a lot of them. You, think? you are messy, and for some reason, I don't know what it is. I'm not the only one laughing. People are turning it into a joke. You should have seen some of the comments in DJ Academics' uh, comment section. Like they were like, "Just admit to it. Why don't you deny it, Meek?" Oh my God! You know, Meek Mill. I like Meek. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have uh, guessed it, but also you like what you like. You do what you do. And maybe he has to keep things secret because still yet you'll get labeled. I'm thinking, I mean, Perry, should he just come out and say it? Would this ruin Meek Mill? Uh, Yeah. Uh, Yeah. I mean, he can't be this hard street rapper and, he on his knees and did his bedroom. I just don't I make sense. I can't. I you can't. Know, I'm just saying, like that. Just that's not becoming of a street rapper. But you asked me, did I mean, would Diddy get a second chance? I mean, I don't think Diddy would go broke even after he pay off most of these people. He might not get too many more endorsements, mm-hmm. but I think he have enough money where he'll be okay. But he mm-hmm. would never. You would really never look at him the same without questioning yourself. Do you feel dirty? Do you feel cheap? Do you feel dirty? Do you feel cheap? I can't. I oh, can't. I, I, you know, those are questions you would end up asking yourself when you like, keep looking at them. But no, I, I think he'll stick around, but he's going to always wear this tag. And it, it, if he keeps settling these course cases, the same thing happened to Michael Jackson. You know, when he settled those things, people, when you settle, assume you did it. Yeah. Uh, Jag used to say it too. She did. And I have to admit when I'm wrong, I would, I would tell Nosy that Jag is just high. <laughs> That's what I used to say. I thought she was high and, you know, and she didn't know what she was talking about, but she was right. Uh, Summer says she likes Katie suggested Sherelle Shakers. <laughs> Why? How come no one likes the riders? The riders. I mean, we can the real shakers, like we had the at the strip <laughs> joint. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so that, that that gives me strip strip club vibes. Okay, I want to shake it. And you can anyway. have different names depending on what, what establishment you in. Uh, let's move on to Wendy Williams and what's going on with Wendy Williams now. To my surprise, first of all, Tommy came out today and said that Wendy's in touch with the family and she's doing extremely well. And everyone's saying that it feels like the documentary Mm -hmm. is helping. Remember how we were all paranoid at first, you know, uh, but for the documentary, we wouldn't have been uh side eyeing what's the name? Will Selsby, um, which Mm -hmm. led to everyone wondering about the guardian you know now we know that the guardian is a part of a lawsuit stealing 30 million dollars from another client we know that the judge uh will pay people off give you a conservatorship if you gave her money so these are all good reasons to get rid of who's in charge right now go in front of another judge and go ahead and give her family the uh conservatorship because They have her best interest, especially Wanda. And I know you love your sister also, Tommy. And I do want to apologize to you for uh, being so rough with you. But, you know, oh, Perry's on mute. I was just, uh, it just didn't add up. Nothing made any sense. But anyway, so now they're saying that Big Kev and Little Kev have fallen out. Mm -mm -mm. They're saying, I know, I'm, I'm shocked. They fell out because Big Kevin sma- slammed the uh, documentary, said it was a bad look for his son, and I told you not to go on there. So I guess he didn't tell his dad that he was going to appear on that. He said, now you have associated yourself with this trash. And they're saying that little Kev stood up 
<laughs> stood up to Big Kev and said, I did that for my mother. And they said that he's taking on a whole new attitude after watching this documentary. He realized uh, how people around her couldn't be trusted and just that she's dealing with dementia. And he felt like he should do more for his mom. I have been asking him to do this since day one. And to not be ups to not care if your dad is angry with you and say, I'm going to do what I got to do. Mm -hmm. Bravo, little Kev. You're not so little anymore. I'm glad you're stepping up to the plate. Big Kev, you have no control anymore. OK, so take your sorry self back somewhere <laughs> and go worry about getting a job because your uh -huh. days of milking Wendy is over. It's official. Go it's get a real job. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Perry. I no, I'm you. saying you're right. It seems that way. And like, that's what you need to be doing. Yeah. You're suing Detmar and uh, Mercury. You're suing your car insurance company about some rain when it didn't even rain on that day. You are disgusting. The gig is up. Stop trying to be a con artist, getting money out of Wendy, and go get a damn job. I hear Walmart is hiring. Like, please, you too good for a job? And congratulations to you, Big Kev. I mean, a little Kev, because everyone, the whole family is pulling together now. They're all on the same page, and they're looking out for the best interests of Wendy. And so that's great. Get rid of those thieving conservators and that crooked judge. What well, kind of judge does stuff like that? Yeah. Just crooked. Just crooked. Uh. Perry, is this temporary between the two Kevins? Uh, no, I mean, because Kevin Sr., he'll back down because at the end of the day, he need Kevin Jr. For what? Money, finances. I don't think Kevin Jr. is going to do it anymore. No, no, I'm just saying, I, 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 you said, is it over? He's got steady going to Wendy said on the documentary, everything she got when that day come goes to Jr., I'm just she telling you, that. She just did. like Shaq yeah. Diddy was never around until he made millions. Then yeah. Shaq Diddy showed up. That'd yeah. be Kevin Sr. You know, and, and as far as a job, if Kevin ever get his car back, then he could be an Uber driver too. It, it's a way to make money. Yeah, it is. And listen, don't ever swallow your pride and act like you're too good for a regular nine to five. Go mm -hmm. get your ass a nine to five or go back to what you were doing was pharmaceuticals, <laughs> selling pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you do. Just stay away from uh, Wendy. Yep. And just sit your ass down and shut the hell up. Yeah. It is what yep. it is. Anyway, I think I covered everything. Uh, so for a while, I'm going to go over certain things in the case about, uh, Diddy, because it's very disturbing. And I laughed about what went on on the internet. But when you look at these pictures and these videos, it's just really chilling. I'm thinking P. Diddy is, is got some kind of mental health issue. You don't think so. My mom doesn't think so. You guys think he's just on a power trip. But you have to be out of your mind the way that he's acting, the things that he's doing, the things that people are accusing him of. You're unaliving people. No, I mean. You're pow-powing people. Go ahead. Is greed a mental problem? It can turn into one. That's oh, no, you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we're using it too loosely. I mean, when he's writing songs, doing all this, taking care of business, he ain't whacked out. I mean, he's just a power freak. He just loves control. And yeah. got the money and got a... a a bad addition to sex. He addicted to it. But you think you know, a, well, he could be because he's he's got a raging drug habit. So according to the rumor, so does Justin. This is just a mess. But I'm gonna keep going over it because 75 pages I can't cover on one day. So uh it's a yeah. lot. Let's start taking questions. Narcissists are chemically imbalanced. It has to be because something is wrong. What a man that has everything and you just turn into, you know, I don't get it. He has a blank demon attached to him. I, I listen, I used to think people were going too far with Puffy, you know, back in the day, the Tupac days, but uh-uh, he's dangerous. 
Stay mm-hmm. away from him. And we don't want him back in the spotlight. We just don't. <laughs> Greed and evil. Evil and not psychological evil. Mm-hmm. Really, it is. What's wrong with him? Perry looks like uh, ours. Oh, we- he's wearing a wig. <laughs> oh, oh, that's yeah. why you took me down. <laughs> he took about that Wendy's. Yeah, po- yeah, picture behind me. Yeah. Sherelle, just let everything play out. I am. I'm going to follow it. You know, if if. Listen, I have to say this. I have to cover myself. Everything isn't necessarily true in a complaint. It's just how this person feels and why they feel that they need to file a lawsuit. But the evidence was chilling that I watched. Like, mm -mm. it's very chilling. I wasn't laughing. I was very uh, concerned. Yeah. Like, oh my God, this thing, you know, this is crazy. Allegedly, Wanda stole 15 million. What? From Wendy? Child, I haven't heard that, but please don't dash my hopes on Wanda. I just feel that Wanda and her children, both her niece and her and Wendy's niece and nephew, are uh very smart. And they love her. I feel like they truly love Wendy. Mm-hmm. That's what I think. What do you think, Perry? And, and then yeah, I and I think so. I think those kids are grounded and they care for their aunt. But I also heard today that she, she's actually at this point, they're starting to clean house. Will she, uh, Shelby fired. The publicist fired. So they're they starting to try to get rid of these bad actors that's around her. Yeah. So if they can keep Kevin Senior away, her little staff that wasn't helping her go nowhere. Yeah. You know, yeah. And maybe get, finally get her back down to Miami. Back yeah. down to Florida. Yeah. It says Puffy was coming to Atlanta back in the 90s and he was a creep then. I had my run-ins with him as a label intern. Oh wow. No one says anything good about him. Nobody except Carisha. <laughs> yeah, well. Except Carisha. And she should have helped little Kev manage such a huge role. He was overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. I'll give him that, Stella. You could be absolutely correct because it's overwhelming for us. Like, and we got to one point we were demanding what is going on, where is Wendy, who's taking her money. You know, it was bad. Mm-hmm. If that was the case, what does that say? Edna being an attorney, Wanda being an attorney, could have considered the guardianship before the bank used an outsider. She said that she did and that she got rejected as being a Sherelle's show outs. Oh <laughs> show outs? No, we got to take a vote. I don't like show outs. Goes with Sherelle's show thing. Show out, show offs, and sh- or show outs. And then show enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it is what it is. I don't know. Wanda is not a lawyer, is she? Yes. So I pulled, well, when I went to go look up her license, I looked in Florida where she lives. I could not find the license. I was like, there, you know, I'm, I can't find the license because you have to be licensed in the state that you're in in order to be an active attorney. But I went to, I think it was on Perry's suggestion, to back to New Jersey where she lived for a long time. And she does, she is an attorney, but her act, her license aren't active because she is a retired attorney. Wanda's 65 years old. So, uh, but, so she can't practice law in the state of, in any state, till her license are right. activated again. But, uh, she still, that doesn't mean she doesn't know the law anymore and that, you know, I think she knows what she's doing. I really do. Somebody said Sherelle shark, Sharks. I, I feel like a football team. <laughs> the, the Sharks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, shit. Drop a vote for the name on your next slide. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're, let's do that, Perry. Let's do that. Right. Let's see if you have a lot of people, uh, Perry peoples, whatever you call them. And if well, they I'm like sure me, Perry, because if you got the riders, then damn it, I just said I got the people. <laughs> you know. Anyway, you guys, uh, thank you for coming on tonight. We were supposed to be at our scheduled time, and um, we had emergency come up. Uh, she would need to take the Florida bar exam. Ooh, 
all over again. Mm -mm. And it's very difficult to pass. Yeah, I heard it like everyone says how difficult it is to pass. Child, are Kim, are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> the world travelers. What is wrong with y'all? Sound like some countries down there in Beverly Hills. But I'll take a vote, and then we'll see what the people say. No, no, no. The curse word was supposed to be "br incorrect." What does that mean, Perry? Oh shit! I don't know. I'm trying to guess. Let's get off of here because Perry's tired. We had a very grueling day today. So thank you guys for joining us. Hopefully, we we'll see you tomorrow. If for, not for nothing, there's other things in this lawsuit that needs to be discussed. It's very chilling, and something wrong with Puffy. Pray for Puffy and his son because he has ruined his children. Pay for Quincy, who feels that his father, his father, unalived his mother. Child, this is a mess. All right, y'all. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Perry, take us out. Yeah, thanks. Th thanks to all you uh Sherelle Riders and Perry peoples. You know, <laughs> but at this point, we got to go. Bye, Bye you guys. See you, you next tomorrow. time. This shit I'm out. I'm out.